FlightScope has revealed a brand new addition to their Mevo Plus models, the Mevo Plus 2023. It's similar to the Mevo Plus but has a couple key improvements. A longer lasting battery, a sturdier kickstand, an included E6 package that contains 10 courses, and FlightScope software for PC. They also offer new upgrades including the Pro package and face impact location software. In this video, we will walk you through the setup and explain some of the features of the Mevo Plus 2023. So first off, we're just going to open the box here. Um, you'll see that it comes in this uh, nice hard case similar to the other Mevo Plus. And inside your case, you'll have a charger. And charger cable that comes with it um a carabiner for i believe that's for if you're um attaching your bag to uh your golf bag or whatever if you're bringing it on the course with you um these are you'll want to keep this qr code because that's going to be your license for um e6 when you uh hook it up to your computer so you're going to want to keep that for later um, these are instructions on like distances that uh, the Mevo needs to be away from the screen and whatnot. And we'll go through that here in a bit. These stickers go on your ball just as pictured there. And basically um, that just helps the Mevo read the ball flight better. And honestly, it's kind of more for spin. The RCT balls uh, do the exact same thing. And uh, if you want to just purchase RCT balls and not have to worry about stickers, um, we'd recommend doing that. All right, so the first step is you're going to charge your Mevo Plus 23 to full power. So to charge the Mevo Plus 23, you just connect the cord on the side right here and then the lights will flash a few times and once it's actually charging it'll start uh, just flashing blue um, so then we'll know it's actually charging I think it's still booting up right now so while we're doing that we're gonna take uh, our flight scope box on the back of that there's a QR code and we'll go ahead and scan that in order to get to the flight scope app. Um, and so you'll want the FS Golf. And here you can see I have it already installed, but uh, you install the FS Golf app. And upon entering the app, it'll ask you um, to create an account. And that's pretty straightforward. Just put in your email and that information and you'll be ready to go. So right now you can see at the top it says we're disconnected. Um, we're gonna wait for this to be finished charging and then we'll connect our Mevo Plus 23 to our phone and the FS Golf app. So once your Mevo Plus 23 is fully charged, um, you're gonna hold this button here on top and then you should hear some beeping. And the flashing blue light means it's looking to connect to a device. So we're going to take our phone in the FS app here, and then we're going to go up to the connected and then yes, allow it to take pictures. So then from here, we're going to go to um, the scan QR code. And so like we pointed out earlier on the back, there's a QR code on the stand. And I'm just going to focus on that until it connects. All right. And so after scanning that QR code, it popped up. So we'll connect. And great. Now it's connected. And so once it's connected, you'll see that all the lights turn green. And we're ready to go. Make sure to place your Mevo eight feet away from your ball. Adjust the tilt for simulator and target alignment using the radar adjustment tool. You should see the angle indication turn green when your angle is properly aligned. 
Use the camera to center your Mevo with a hitting area and target. So once you have registered your Mevo Plus 23, you should receive an email afterwards that will include the product key for the included E6 courses. Um, so from there, uh, you'll just go to e6golf.com and then you're going to go to the portal. And from here, you'll either log in or create a login. We're already logged in on our profile. So then you'll go down to licenses and then scroll down to redeem key. And so that's where you're going to put in your product key and then you'll hit submit. And then from there, uh, it'll say accepted. And then when you go back to your dashboard to view your licenses, it will show up as your desktop license with 10 courses. So once you've activated your product key to download E6 on your computer, you're gonna go over to your profile um, picture in the corner here, and then click it and scroll down to downloads. And then you'll want to click this download button right here, and that'll install the latest version of E6 Connect on your computer. So we've already gone ahead and done that. You're gonna run that download and follow the instructions to install it on your computer. So once that's installed, we're gonna open our E6 Connect app. You'll need to be connected to the internet for this, so make sure you're not connected to your Mevo Plus um, while you're doing this portion of the setup. But to activate our license on the software, we'll log in and then you'll type in your email. All right, and then this will pop up and we'll select your license. So we're gonna select our desktop license here. Um, Note this at the bottom, uh, activating it binds the selected license to the system. So to this computer, um, if you need to change computers, you'll have to go to your portal and uh, follow the steps from there. So we'll click activate. And now we are within E6. So here's where you set up your tracking system. Uh, we're gonna use flight scope. We'll configure, um, select our Mevo Plus. And our Mevo Plus is not showing up right now because we had to disconnect the Mevo from the Wi-Fi to be able to link our license to the software. So um, we'll have to connect to the Wi-Fi again here quick on the Mevo. Press the Windows key, open up our Wi-Fi, refine the Wi-Fi here and select it. And now it says that we're connected. Uh, it says there's a new firmware package download. We'll click yes and download that. Our sensor to T distance is at eight feet. So we'll move this up to eight feet indoor mode we'll keep this on short indoor and we'll click accept so here under projection dimensions you can um, put in your custom screen dimensions which provides a more uh, realistic point of view inside the game so so we have a 9 by 12 enclosure which this is already set up for. And we're also 10 feet from the screen. So all we have to do is click accept. And you're ready to start playing golf on E6. So now we'll show you the steps to get your Mevo 2023 running with PC software. So first of all, we're gonna connect 
our Mevo to our Wi-Fi. So you'll open your Wi-Fi down here, and then you'll be looking for a connection that starts with FS. And that's gonna be the Wi-Fi to your flight scope. So it might not pop up right away. You'll see um, the Wi-Fi pops up under FS. And we'll connect. And now we're connected. So at this point, we will launch our FS Golf PC 2.0. You can download once you purchase the Flightscope software for PC off of Flightscope's website. So once you have your flight scope software open, the next step is to connect your Bevo. So we're gonna go up to this red tab here that says disconnected and connect device. And then you'll see here that um, since we already connected to the Wi-Fi, it's showing up here. So we'll just hit connect. And then it might make you go through um, some settings on registering your product. But uh, after that, you should be connected here. So once you've bought your face impact software, your next step is to go into your settings tab and go to uh, general and then software. And then from here is where you can activate your um, face impact location software. So to connect your face impact location software, you'll need to go over to this uh, general tab and then click on software. And here is where you activate your pro package and your face impact location software. So we need to activate our pro package first in order to be able to run the face impact location. So. Down here, you'll just type in your activation code that you got when you purchased your uh, pro package from FlightScope. So we'll enter that now. So then the next step is to activate your face impact location uh, for the Mevo Plus Pro package. So we'll click on here and then type in that activation code. All right, so once we're all connected, we're gonna go click up here and click done. And now um, we can start a full swing session. And before your session starts, it'll take you into this menu um, to get you all set up. So um, we're gonna click limited flight since we're indoors. Um, setting up our radar we placed our radar eight feet away from our t so we are good to go there target alignment so this uses the camera on the mevo 2023 to uh, align your camera with your ball we have our ball here and we'll just align our Mevo so that the ball matches up with the center line. Once we have that done, we can click next. Um, so the setup verification, um, it'll ask you to record a shot um, to check the position of the ball. Um, and that'll also be the point at where it recognizes the face impact location data. Uh, so we'll just take a, a test swing here and make sure that shows up as running. Perfect. So once you take a hit, um, if you have the face impact location data um, software, you'll see that that comes up as available. So it recognized our shot. Weather mode, um, we're indoors, so we don't really have to worry about this. You can change these settings as needed, but uh, we're not gonna mess with any of these because we're just using it indoors. And surface type, uh, you can change between soft, medium, and hard, which we'll stick with medium. Players, you can add your players. 
in that section. Um, select what clubs you're using. You can change this at any time in the menu. We're gonna do a seven iron. And we are using standard balls. Let's start a new session. So if your face impact software isn't showing up right away, um, you'll actually need to go into this little three dot menu up at the top here. And you can just select um, whichever windows you want to see. And um, we'll go into face impact location and click that. And now we can see that window. And using these tabs on the right here, um, we can just add as many um, windows as we want to be able to see. But for now, we'll just stick with the two windows. So to use the face impact software, you'll have to take a shot first. So we'll go ahead and take a shot here. All right, so then you'll see after you take a shot that the face impact location uh, software pops up. And you may feel like this data may be inaccurate. So to calibrate this, um, you'll have to calibrate it for each of your clubs. Um, and so you'll just select whatever club you're using, 7-iron up here. On the face impact calibration, you'll just click I understand. Now it says to use spray. Um, if you have clean clubs, you might not necessarily need to use that. Um, you can tend to see the impact even without spray. All right, so then once you've taken a shot and looked at your club and seen where the mark is on your club, um, you'll want to compare it to where that mark is here. You'll go up to calibrate up at the top here and click, I understand. And then you'll use these arrows to adjust this mark to where it's marked on your club. So we had our mark pretty much in the same area um, horizontally, but vertically um, we're a little lower than where we need to be. So I'm just gonna move this up a ways here using these arrow keys at the bottom. And uh, one thing to note uh, in this version of the software that we have the left and right arrow keys are actually um, backwards. So if you click the, the right key, um, it'll move your um, location to the left um, when you're looking at it on the screen. So um, just keep that in mind when you're using this tool. So that looks about right. I'd say that's about the center of where we hit it on our club. So we'll click down here, save, and you can select either for current and future shots only or for all shots in this session. Uh, we'll just do all shots in this session. And that's it, and you should be calibrated. So when you are calibrating the face impact location, you'll need to do that with uh, each of your clubs that you're using. So you'll have to go in, hit with your driver, calibrate that, hit with your wood, calibrate that. So it's a little bit of a process, but you should only have to do it uh, once for each club. So that's about it for the setup for the Mevo 23 and the Pro Package software. If you have any further questions, feel free to reach out in the comments below or to our customer service team. And as always, like and subscribe for more content on building your own golf simulator setup.